Hi, my name is Dr. Katherine Caronia, and I'm the Service Line Chairman for the Department of Pediatrics for Catholic Health. Today I'm going to speak to you about childhood safety and keeping your baby safe as they continue to grow and develop those milestones that you will get to understand and to know. When we look at babies one month to three months of age, um, they will begin to raise their head. They will raise their chest if you're lying on their stomach. They will have some upper body control with their arms that will be able to straighten to support their chest when looking around. They will now stretch their legs and kick when lying on their back and their stomach as they gain some age, bring their hands to their mouth. They will take swipes at any dangling objects that are put before them, and they will begin to grasp toys, small toys, and be able to shake them. At this point, again, we need to ensure the ability to keep our babies, our children safe, really is working with them as they develop these additional motor skills. One is to always remember to place your child, your baby, in an appropriate car seat. Certainly the utilization of car seats from one child to the other is typical for a family. But understanding that the car seat itself needs to be able to be well locked for the child, be appropriate for the child's age, never be placed in the front seat of a car. And if you are using a car seat that perhaps was handed down to you, that was used prior, just ensure that you know who did use that car seat and that it itself was not involved in a motor vehicle accident. Also ensuring that the car seat is placed appropriately in the car and is well locked in in the appropriate manner by which it's supposed to be. If you have any questions, certainly your local hospitals, pediatricians, as well as the fire departments can help you um, ensure that the car seat is put into place. At this time, again, never leave a small baby one month to three month old on a high surface unattended. You never know when they'll be able to move such that they would fall off. So please always supervise them on changing tables or any height that you've placed a baby on, including a bed. There's also now the trauma of potential burns. And when we talk about burns, we have to understand and ensure that babies are not held when someone is smoking or when someone is eating or drinking a hot liquid. That is the most common cause of a burn on a small baby who suddenly finds it within themselves to grasp an arm or a drink. So before placing the baby in someone's arms, please ensure that they are not carrying or drinking hot liquids. In addition, continue to monitor any bath water before placing the baby in the water to prevent scalding. You can check your water by placing your hand in it and up to your wrist or your forearm. If it's too hot for you, please don't put your baby in there. In addition, do not heat your baby's milk in a microwave oven. This again can cause scalding as the microwave will heat from the inside out. Monitor for choking as babies will suddenly start to put all items into their mouth. Ensure that the toys are intact, that there's no broken pieces or sharp edges that could be pulled off or broken off. Ensure that your crib toys or other toys are not suspended in the crib or the playpen. And if they are, please ensure that they are fastened securely and tightly so that the baby cannot pull them down or entangle themselves in them. Monitor your baby, supervise, and ensure that their crib, their place, is safe to keep your baby safe. Thank you very much, and I hope that this information that I've been able to provide to you will help you to keep your baby safe. God bless you, and if you need any additional information, please visit Catholic Health website. Thank you.